Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit engagement slash wedding pictures. I mean, you can realistically use these colors for a wedding. She's just not wearing a wedding dress. Um, this is the before and this is the after. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this for those of us who don't live in California and don't have sunshine. So let's first begin by resetting this image to its original colors command shift R on Mac and it really shows you the you know straight out of the camera what I got um, this is really easy to do I found a trick I'm gonna show you guys at the end you're gonna love it just wait you have to wait till the end though okay so the first thing that I want to do is slightly just higher up the exposure if you look at the wedding Cal wedding California if you look at the wedding photographers in California there's a lot of brightness in their photos so we're going for that vibe we're thinking california where they have t almost too much vitamin d and yet in michigan we have like two days of sun okay so i'm adding slight contrast slight exposure not too much again you can always toggle this um highlight i'm gonna be a jerk and just do negative one just because you don't have to really lower the highlights unless you really want to get a lot of that detail back, but I want it to be a little bit blown out in some areas. We want to higher up the shadows, and I think the shadows is really what is going to help this picture, you know, hiring those shadows, and it's going to give it that nice, light, airy feeling, air quotes, airy. And one other thing I'm going to do is just lower the vibrance to negative 10. I like to lower the vibrance just to have a nice base for the photo so the colors aren't too overwhelming. Okay, and now we are going on to my favorite part of Lightroom, which is Tone Curve, which is kind of like the same thing in Photoshop with curves. This is basically the only thing that I use, really. So what you want to do, I mean, not what you want to do. So a nice style that a lot of photographers have, especially when they're editing wedding photos, is to not have absolute blacks and really white whites they kind of have like a grayish tone the blacks are almost gray so to get this look you want to just bump this little guy up and as you can see there is gray filling in all the parts of the black and i like to do this um, a lot of again a lot of wedding photographers do this kind of look and it's really easy to just bring down this point so again those highlights as you can see, if you're looking right here, it's bringing down that white white. So we're bringing it down, making it a little bit more gray. So we're kind of like taking away the highlights here. And I have an exact curve I'm gonna replicate so I can show you guys again how I got that look. It's very slight. I always tell people to not do too much with tone curve. You wanna do something very simple. Look what I got so far already looking very light now the trick to making this look like you know you live in california even though you don't is to pop out those greens change the colors so what you can do in this you guys this took me like 20 million years to figure out sliding this cur this uh green hue bar changes the all the colors you guys are probably gonna make fun of me like why did it take you so long well i'm you know I had a lot to learn I had a lot of chores at home so we want this to be a certain type of green I like this type of green and I'm gonna lower the saturation I don't want it too much I'm gonna do negative 25 I think that's looking pretty good you want it to be soft and one thing that I I like to do is higher up the luminance so that the leaves are again brighter I mean, it's like they're floating on a green marshmallow cloud. And as for highlights and shadows, we are gonna leave this as is. I'm gonna see if I wanna add that later on. Now here's the trick to this, you guys. If you go all the way down, and I figured this out a while ago, but I don't really use it that much. If you go down to profile, if you click Adobe Standard, change that to camera portrait. And it just adds that pop of color it's like the heavens opened, I don't know. 
it, it looks great. I don't know why I haven't used this before. Um, this is one of the camera profiles and I believe you can just change it to any one that you want. You can try out different colors. I think it's great. So yeah, I use camera portrait. And as far as, you know, the redness in her skin, all you have to do is just go to that orange tab and decrease the saturation to kind of get rid of that and also hire the luminance. Another quick thing is you can go over to the yellow tab and we can just make slight adjustments, lower the saturation for the yellows, do negative 11, and I'm going to higher up the luminance for the yellow. So as you can see, like look at the difference that that makes. Okay, and one extra step that we can take to kind of make this image pop a little bit more is by going to the adjustment brush and I'm going to make sure that the exposure is a little bit high, contrast is high. I'm going to toggle the highlights and I'm going to start out with just again the exposure and the contrast a little bit higher up. The color I'm going to be using is H49. I'm going to just make sure that it's a little on the lower side of the opacity just to begin. And what you can do is kind of sweep in and it kind of like gives a, a nice burst of color I feel like. You don't want to go too crazy with this even though it's a lot of fun. Like I ain't gonna lie, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Just like adding in this. And you can higher the exposure if you want. But I wouldn't do that. Just want to keep it a little bit natural even though we just like <laughs> Literally re-edited everything, especially the color of the leaves. Like, we know you ain't that color. Leaves. So I think that looks pretty good. And I'll show you the, the before and after just by adding those little color bubbles, as I call them. So that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys like this. There's a before again and an after. And I'm going to show you even close up. Before and after. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know what you think and thank you guys so much for watching.